10 Key Points About Methanol Poisoning Methanol Poisoning Methanol is a colorless, odorless toxic alcohol used in industrial processes and household products, including windshield washer fluid, antifreeze, and fuel additives. The liver metabolizes methanol through oxidation to formaldehyde, followed by conversion to formic acid. This metabolic process results in formic acid accumulation, leading to metabolic acidosis, cellular dysfunction, and specific organ damage, particularly affecting the optic nerve and central nervous system. Etiology Methanol toxicity occurs primarily through ingestion, either accidental or intentional. Children frequently experience accidental ingestion by consuming products like windshield washer fluid. Intentional ingestion often correlates with suicide attempts. Occupational exposure through vapor inhalation presents a secondary route of toxicity, manifesting as respiratory irritation, vertigo, and potential loss of consciousness at high concentrations. Epidemiology Methanol poisoning incidence varies geographically, with developing nations reporting higher rates due to limited product regulation, accessibility of methanol-containing substances, and insufficient public health education. Demographics at elevated risk include pediatric populations, adolescents, and individuals with substance use disorders. Pediatric cases often stem from exploratory behavior characteristic of developmental stages. Pathophysiology The pathophysiological cascade begins with methanol's conversion to formaldehyde and formic acid. Formaldehyde exhibits high tissue reactivity, while formic acid disrupts cellular potential of hydrogen homeostasis, precipitating metabolic acidosis. Formic acid accumulation manifests in ophthalmologic and neurological symptoms, including vision loss, seizures, and altered consciousness. Mitochondrial dysfunction from formic acid leads to cellular energy depletion and subsequent organ damage. Clinical presentation. Initial symptoms manifest as gastrointestinal disturbances and cephalgia. Disease progression exhibits three primary symptom clusters. Visual manifestations include acuity reduction, vision blurring, and potential blindness. Neurological symptoms progress from seizures to coma and respiratory depression. Metabolic acidosis develops as blood potential of hydrogen decreases. Advanced cases may progress to multi-organ failure with potential mortality. Diagnosis Diagnostic approach incorporates clinical assessment, laboratory evaluation, and exposure history. Physical examination emphasizes ophthalmologic evaluation for organ damage markers. Laboratory studies include serum methanol and formic acid quantification, electrolyte panels, and hepatorenal function tests to establish diagnosis and assess severity. Treatment Treatment protocols focus on toxic metabolite prevention, elimination enhancement, and metabolic stabilization. Fomepazole administration serves as primary intervention through alcohol dehydrogenase inhibition, preventing toxic metabolite formation. Supportive measures maintain oxygenation, hydration, and hemodynamic stability. Severe cases require hemodialysis for methanol and metabolite removal. Treatment efficacy correlates with rapid intervention. Complications Sequelae include permanent ophthalmologic impairment from optic nerve damage, neurological deficits manifesting as seizures or cognitive dysfunction, metabolic acidosis leading to organ dysfunction and electrolyte derangement, and potential nephrotoxicity in severe exposures. Prognosis Patient outcomes correlate with exposure severity, intervention timing, and baseline health status. Early medical intervention often results in complete recovery. Severe exposures may result in permanent ophthalmologic, neurological, or multi-organ damage. Prevention. Prevention strategies encompass proper chemical storage protocols, public health education initiatives, 
regulatory oversight of methanol-containing products, and immediate medical evaluation for suspected exposure. These interventions aim to reduce poisoning incidents and associated morbidity and mortality. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.